Hi everybody, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan on what is going to be a very busy week weather-wise in the New Zealand area. We've got a tropical cyclone near Fiji and Vanuatu area which is going to track down towards the New Zealand area later this week. But more importantly, we have a big southerly change coming through this week which is going to put snow down to fairly low levels in the South Island, affect highways and drop the temperatures nationwide. Here's the animated wind map for Monday. Tropical cyclone Kenny has formed, named by the Fijians. Now it's likely to reach category two. It could go a little higher than that, but at this stage, category two. It's going to track very close to Fiji, probably closer than cyclone Josie did, but it's tracking in a very similar path, where it's going to go to the south of Fiji, to the south of Tonga. Then it curves down, enters the New Zealand area and will merge into a very large area of low pressure as it joins up with that southerly system which is also coming through and that's the southerly there starting to arrive. So let me show you the path of Kenny now. This is where we expect it's going to go. As you can see it tracks south of Fiji, category two. It could be one to keep a very close eye on. It tracks south of Tonga as well. Does not come into the New Zealand area. So that's, uh, sorry, does not come into the New Zealand land area, but it does come into our sea area. So this is the air pressure map for lunchtime Tuesday. Now we expect uh, Kenny to be tracking, as you can see, very close to Fiji there. Damaging winds and heavy rain could be affecting the island nation. And then it drags uh, down towards the southern part in towards the Southern Ocean to the east of us. Now over New Zealand on Tuesday, we haven't included the rain that's coming in a second because you're not going to be able to see the country. But you can see the low pressure system off the coast of Taranaki. That's basically like a little uh, extra bit of energy to help pull up the southerly. This is a big southerly, all caused by this high shaped north to south. If we were getting this in the middle of August, we'd be seeing snow through all the main centres. So this is a, a very early southerly, but because it's quite mild for this time of the year, we're not expecting major snow events down to sea level, but there will be some heavy snow through the mountains of both islands, especially merging with that area of rain. So you've got moisture and cold. When you add the rain maps on, you can see kind of why we didn't really, uh, you can't really see where New Zealand is. It's buried under there, but there's Auckland to the north. We've got Christchurch down here. The west coast, perhaps the only area that's going to be seeing some sun and maybe out over this side around the Wairo area, Waikari Moana. Some people ask me why do the labels say places like Waikare Moana and Clutha but not all the main centres? That is a very good question. Um, one that we can't alter at our end because we buy this, uh, these weather maps from overseas. We will look into that definitely. Now the Wednesday map is the one that is to me the most interesting. See the dark blue line? Well that's basically saying everyone south of that is in some pretty cold air which means even Northland. The daytime highs up in the far north will be around 16 degrees so some of you in the South Island might be laughing at that going well that doesn't sound too bad and it's not compared to what you're going to be having with daytime highs anywhere between zero and plus seven or eight for a lot of places. Now the zeros will be obviously inland, snow through places like the Arthur's Pass, Linda's Pass, areas like that so if you're driving from west to east just be aware there could be some snow around so it's a cold south to southeast wind on Wednesday. Now let's zip through a bit this is Thursday there's that area of low pressure forming with the southerly and out to the side that is Cyclone Kenny the two are doing a dance around each other forming an enormous area of low pressure. It's out to the east we're being clipped by the southerly it's still blasting through the North Island on Thursday not too bad around the South Island though, there's a cold front moving through. And here we are on Friday, where once again it's a little bit hard to track everything, but this is New Zealand over there, a small area of low pressure, it looks bigger than it probably is. There's a wee bit of rain just in the northern parts here for the end of the week, but there's also a lot of high pressure around the country. And Saturday, you can see the last part of the southerly coming through, it's still windy and cold, but there's this big high coming in that'll be locking in some frosty colder weather. But after that, all those isobars there, those are northerlies. So we've got quite a lot going on this week with the cyclone, which won't directly hit New Zealand, but does come in to our part of the world. Obviously, the southerly is the main feature. Snow to low levels, roads are likely to be affected, potentially even some schools. So just be aware of that weather coming in mostly over the next few days ahead. That's all from me. We'll update you again on Tuesday. <laughs>